Welcome to Grandad's Storytime. Please like and subscribe. I post new content every day. Peppa Pig. Good night, Peppa. Once upon a time, Granny and Grandpa Pig came round for dinner. It was almost time for Peppa and George to go to bed. Yawn, yawned Daddy Pig very loudly while they were eating. He 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 he, everyone giggled. Ho ho ho, sorry, snorted Daddy Pig. I'm a little tired. Pepper and George weren't tired at all. Can we jump in puddles just for a tiny bit? asked Pepper. Please. Okay, said Daddy Pig, but you must come in at bath time. Pepper and George loved jumping in muddy puddles. They jumped up and down until they were covered in mud. Pepper, George, called Daddy Pig, you must be feeling sleepy after all that jumping. Let's get you in the bath. But Daddy, we're not even a little bit sleepy, replied Pepper. Pepper and George splashed in the bath until they're both nice and clean. I think bath time is over, said Daddy Pig, dripping wet. You must be tired after all that splashing. We're not even a little bit tired, cried Pepper, splashing Daddy Pig again. <coughs> Laughed George. Daddy Pig was soaked. Pepper and George hopped out of the bath. They dried off and put their pyjamas on very slowly. Then they brushed their teeth for an extra long time. Brush, brush, brush. Quick, wash your faces. Granny Pig wants to tuck you into bed, said Mummy Pig. Yippee, cheered Pepper. Ganging, cheered George. Pepper and George were finally ready for bed. They said good night to Mummy and Daddy Pig and found Granny Pig in her room. Come on, little ones, said Granny Pig. It's bedtime. Hop in. I can't go to bed without Teddy, said Pepper. Dinosaur, sobbed George. So Granny Pig found Teddy and Mr. Dinosaur and tucked everyone in. Good night, Pepper and Teddy, said Granny. Good night, George and Mr. Dinosaur. But we're not even a tiniest bit sleepy, Granny, said Pepper. I see, said Granny Pig. I wonder what will make you sleepy. Can I tell you a bedtime story, asked Pepper. Of course, Pepper, replied Granny. As long as you promise to go to sleep, as soon as the story ends. We promise, cried Pepper. Pepper and George loved bedtime stories. Granny Pig began telling a story. Once upon a time, there was a... A beautiful princess called Pepper, interrupted Pepper. Yes, said Granny Pig, and... Sir George the Brave Knight, Pepper interrupted again. Hee hee, giggled George. Granny Pig carried on. Princess Pepper and Sir George lived in a castle. A great big castle in the sky, said Pepper. Granny Pig tried to finish the story. Princess Pepper and Sir George had been playing all day in the castle and were very tired. Then the king arrived, cheered Pepper, and a cook, and a wizard, and a scary dragon dinosaur. Dinosaur, added George. Grrr. And the cook made them all a giant picnic and sandwiches, cakes, jelly, Pepper listed all the food she could think of. Grandpa Pig came to find Granny Pig. I'm telling Pepper and George a bedtime story, explained Granny Pig. And we promise to go to sleep when the story ends, added Pepper. I see, said Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig, why don't you leave this to me? I'm good at ending stories. So Granny Pig said good night and went downstairs. Grandpa Pig did his best to end the story. After they ate the lovely picnic, everyone fell asleep. The end. But Pepper did not want the story to end. Then they all woke up and their friends arrived, she cried. And they went for a ride in Princess Pepper's carriage and decided to have a great big party. Soon Daddy Pig came upstairs. I'm an expert at telling bedtime stories, he said. Then he whispered quietly to Grandpa Pig. I'll have them asleep in no time. 
so Grandpa Pig said good night and went downstairs. Princess Pepper and Sir George were just about to have a great big party, Pepper told Daddy Pig. I see, he replied. Thud, thud, thud. Mummy Pig heard banging, so she came upstairs too. Pepper, George and Daddy Pig were dancing. We're having a party, like in the story, explained Pepper. They're almost asleep, said Daddy Pig. Thank you, Daddy, said Mummy Pig. I'll take over now. So Daddy Pig said good night and went downstairs. Mummy Pig took Pepper and George back into bed. Then she asked Pepper to tell her the whole bedtime story from beginning, very quietly. Once upon a time, whispered Pepper, yawning, there was a beautiful princess called Pepper. She lived with Sir George, the brave knight, in a great big castle in the <sighs> sky. Speaking softly was making Pepper really sleepy. Pepper tried to finish the story, but she couldn't keep her eyes open. Soon George fell fast asleep, and so did Pepper. Mummy Pig looked at the two little ones, smiled and whispered, Good night, George. Good night, Pepper. Then she headed downstairs to find Granny, Grandpa and Daddy Pig. They were all fast asleep. It was bedtime for Pepper and George, and it was bedtime for everyone else too. Good night, said Mummy Pig. The end. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe, it's free, to support us and allow us to create more great content.